Our learning intention for this video is that we will understand pH and pOH calculations and what they're representing. Okay, so let's look at a couple of these examples. So calculate the pH and the pOH for each of the following. So in our first example, we're given the H plus ions and we're asked to find the pH and the pOH. So remember our formula and I'll, I'll write it up here. So minus the log to the base 10 of our H plus ions is gonna give us our pH. So here we're given our H plus ions. You, you might see our H3O plus and the H plus used interchangeably, and that's completely okay. So sometimes you'll see it written like this, and sometimes you'll see it written like this. This is just denoting that the H plus has been donated to the water molecule, um, and that's where that hydrogen ion has ended up. So in this example, all we have to do is substitute our concentration, which we're given, into this formula to calculate the pH. Okay, so I'm gonna do that here on the calculator. So I've got minus the log of 10 to the power of minus 10. And then when I press equals, that gives us the pH of 10. So in this example, using that formula, we end up with a pH of 10. Now we also know the other formula we need to remember is that our pH plus our pOH is equal to 14. So for this example now, to find the pOH, the pOH is going to be 14 minus our pH, which is 10. So that gives us a pOH of 4. Let's try another example. In this one, we're actually given the OH concentration, so our hydroxide concentration. So the formula we're using in this instance is this one. And similarly like before, we now can use this equation. So our pH plus our pOH is gonna equal 14. And that means that our pH is going to equal 14 minus our pOH, which is eight. 